uh, hi, I'm Smriti, and uh, we picked uh, Dig Up the Past as our project, some history. Uh, this project was heavily inspired by CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is the text box you uh, basically decipher to continue spamming a site. Um, so, no, that was a joke. Uh, ReCAPTCHA was a spin off uh, where a CMU professor realized that uh, millions of people were doing pattern recognition and that could be used as a crowdsourcing app to digitize books. Since that project, uh, all of Google's books have been digitized. So we, um, uh, the aim was to engage people and not overwhelm them. So we decided to split those handwritings into words and we did our best. Uh, it required computer vision and um, it's not perfect, but we didn't have high resolution images to work with. So we got some images and they are a little blurry. And uh, we also had uh, provided them with a pop-up there uh, so that they can uh, get context if they want. And a lot of this goes to the back end and I guess my teammates would explain that better. So after my teammates sort of parsed all the journal entries into words, what we did was basically we pushed it into a database so we could present it in a very reasonable manner. So for example, here we have a little sort of image. And can you guys read what's on the image? Foot. It's foot, right? So what I would do is basically I would say dig it, and I would cl click dig it, and that would add on to a value in a database. And once that value hits a certain number, we'll say that it's validated, and then we'll move it to a nicer database. So basically, we don't have to deal with it anymore. However, we do have some bad words. Like, for example, like, what does this look like? Anyone know? It could be Soros. It could be, yeah. Or Oracle. It could be anything, right? So this is why we sort of wanted to crowdsource it to the public so they can determine what it was. So that was the gist of what we thought was a plan. And we also wanted to gamify it, but unfortunately, we didn't have enough time. But at the same time, I feel like this is a very potential sort of important app that can help paleontologists sort of decipher these old journals because handwriting is very different in the ancient times. <laughs> so that's it. Um, Evie, I helped with the UX. And so did Jerlyn, and she had a plane to catch. That's why she's not up here on the stage. So thanks, folks. <laughs>